In this video, we're going to be considering the curve r equals 3 plus 2 cosine theta. And we're going to show that there are four points where the tangent is perpendicular to the initial line. So that would mean that the gradient of the tangent is infinite at those points. And so what we would need is the denominator of dy by dx to be equal to 0. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to say to ourselves is, right, well, a is 3, b is 2. I'm going to substitute it into the denominator. So we're going to have minus uh, 3 sine theta. Take away um, 4 sine theta cosine theta. And that's going to be equal to 0. So what I'll do is I'll multiply through by minus 1. And I'm going to factor out the sine theta. So sine theta, and we'll have 3 plus 4 cosine theta, in a bracket, equals 0. So either the sine theta is equal to 0, or cosine theta is going to be equal to minus 3 quarters. Now we're looking for solutions to these uh, between minus pi and pi. So including pi, but not including minus pi. So sine of theta equals 0. Well, that's going to have the solutions of 0 and pi. And cosine theta equals minus 3 quarters. So inverse cosine of minus 3 quarters. Oh, whoops. Let's try that again. Minus 3 quarters. Uh, we are going to have minus 2.42 to 3 sig fig and 2.42 to 3 sig fig. Okay. So, uh, where are those points on our curve? Well, what we'll find is we're going to be looking at sketching this in a few videos' time. And the shape of the curve that we get looks like this. That's my best estimate, anyway. Okay, so we've got theta equals 0, which is here. So that's theta equals 0. That's our first one, where the tangent is perpendicular to the initial line. We've got theta equals pi, which is this point here. So what that's telling you is... This curve has this dimple, so we refer to that as a dimple as it comes round. And we can say that, okay, well, at that point, the curve is perpendicular to the initial line. So that's at theta equals pi. Theta equals 2.42 is going to be this point here. And this point here will be the theta equals minus 2.42. And what we'll have is that you could draw a vertical line going through both those because of the symmetry of the graph. Okay, and so you've got one, two, three, four points where the tangent to the curve is perpendicular to the initial line. 